This is TK's Two Cents. I'm TK Coleman. And today we're going to talk about going beyond job descriptions and rethinking change. Let's dive right in with the first tweet. There is always room for creativity beyond the job description. Never equate what's required with what's possible. Greatness is never mandatory. That's what makes it great. For any given job you might have, for any given form of work you might perform, there are two levels of performance. The first is the work that you get paid to do. The second level is the work that is intrinsically rewarding. The first level is the level of things that other people demand of you. The second level are the things that you demand of yourself. The first level are the things that other people like when you do them. The second level are the things that you do because they make you come alive. Great work requires you to do things at both of those levels. You're not just here to pursue your deepest gladness. You're also here to translate that gladness into value creation for others. Because what is the point of doing the work that makes us come alive if we are not using our gifts and talents to serve other people? But you are also not just here to make a difference in other people's lives. You are not just here to serve other people. You are also here to get gladness out of your work. You are also here to do the things that are so valuable to you, so meaningful to you, that even if you don't get paid a dime for those things, you will show up and do them because your nature demands that you do those things, because your soul compels you in the direction of your work. It is in that direction that greatness lies. When you get hired for a job, when you get paid for a gig, I want you to look at your job description and take note of all the things that are expected of you and do your best to master those things. And once you get in the habit of doing those things, ask yourself, what are the things that my soul summons me to do that can't even be expressed on a job description that no one even thought about to ask, that no one even knew enough about to demand? and go do those things, not because it's your job to do them, but because it's your calling to do them. And when you do those things, you become great in a manner that makes you indispensable. If all you bring to a role is the ability to follow instructions, then you are easily replaced by someone who can come along, follow the same set of instructions and get up an hour earlier than you or stay up an hour later than you. But when you are bringing something to your work that isn't on the list of instructions because it comes from your soul, you are making a unique contribution to the craft, to the company that you are devoted to. And that is what makes you great. That is what makes you unique. That is what makes you irreplaceable. Be great, be unique, be irreplaceable. Let's go to tweet number two. Change is easier said than done, but better done than said. You've heard it said before, Someone brings up a good argument for why we should change the way we do things. And someone says, yeah, but that's easier said than done. Yeah, man, I really got to change my diet. Easier said than done. Yeah, man, I really got to start working out. Easier said than done. Yeah, man, I really got to manage my money a little bit more effectively. Easier said than done. Well, here are a few other things that are easier said than done. Getting out of bed in the morning. Necessary, but easier said than done much easier to think and talk about getting out of bed than to actually get out of bed. Brushing your teeth and taking a shower, much easier to talk about those things than to actually do them. I'm talking about them right now, but I have to get up and go make some effort if I want to do those things. Working out, riding a bike, going for a walk, working on your communication, building a business, all of these things are easier said than done. Why? Because the effort that is required to move an idea from concept to completion will always be greater than the effort required to merely theorize about the idea and engage in conversations with other people about it. So everything is easier said than done. What's the point? Never use it's easier said than done as an argument for why you shouldn't do something that you know is necessary for your personal growth and transformation. The next time you are confronted with the possibility that you need to face, the next time you consider an idea that you need to implement in your life, the next time you consider some aspect of your life that you need to get together and you're tempted to say, yeah, that's easier said than done, I want you to look at it again and say easier said than done, 
but better done than said. Now let's get to work to make change happen. Everybody, that's TK's Two Cents. That's what going beyond the job description and rethinking change is all about. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoy this episode. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for future updates. Be sure to leave a comment letting me know either what you learned or what ideas you'd like to add or what questions you have for me or anything you'd like to see me talk about in the future. Thanks always for your support. Be sure to share this with a family member or friend if you think they benefit. Peace out. Continue revolutionizing the world in your own individualized way.